Hey guys. Two in a row, what up? I'm just kidding. Guys, I wanted to say one more thing because we're we're taking off. Had to mow the lawn, took a shower. Okay. So here's what I want to say to some of you fucking people. Here's the deal. Does it really matter what I make or don't make? Why am I always the talk of the town? <laughs> Why? I thought I was just a, a felon and a bum, according to fat ass in Staten Island. Right? This is know-it-all. She got everything. Guys, I wanted to read something to you. And again, guys, this means nothing. What I have, don't have, own, don't own. But it proves a point again. Because people talk. But I am going to say this before I read this. Sometimes when you people go looking for trouble, yeah, you find it in the most fucked up places. Okay. People were saying shit fed ass about our house when I paid it off. Do you know the average age in America to pay your house off is 63 years old? And I paid it off at 52. With nearly two-thirds of retirement age Americans having paid off their mortgages. It means that the average age they have gotten rid of the debt is likely in their early 60s. That's from 538.com. They suggest the age to pay off a home is around 63 years old. So when fat ass who owns nothing is still gawking to people about a stupid ass fucking associate. So associates, KSAC have to take the test. Let's say the bitch buys a house at 45. Let's just hypothetically. You'll be dead before you pay your house off. We have no bills but our summer and winter taxes. And our winter taxes, or I mean our summer taxes are due next week, a couple thousand bucks, boom. We have really good homeowner's insurance, and that's it. And guys, does it really matter what I own or don't own? No. Um, people saying my shit's probably, might not be real, um, because I don't have some of it graded, right? I have a lot of graded shit. I just, that was a collection. But when you guys are talking about graded, oh, you mean graded like, here. It, it, you see how stupid this is, you guys? Here is a number one first appearance of Shazam, a 9.0. Pretty expensive book. Journey in the Mystery, The Destroyer. And a Captain America, 9.4. Here's some graded stuff. Does it fucking matter? No. Here is a Casablanca um, movie script, right? Again, guys, does this mean anything? No. Here's another script. Star Trek, The Next Generation. These are legitimate movie scripts. And guys, here's more and more and more. Does it fucking matter? No. You guys see my point? Who really gives a fuck? You stupid fucking people give a fuck when you bring up my business day in and day out. Oh, Rick don't have to. Okay. Here, guys. Let me just show you b before I leave. Here's stacks of cards. Right? But I guess these are all fake, too. There's a Robin Yunt rookie. There's a numbered Derek Jeter, uh, Michael Jordan, uh, Jack Nicholas rookies, Jordan. Look at all these cards. Here's early basketball, Rick Mahorns, Caldwell Jones, Checklist, Brian Trottier, Dave Lewis rookies from the Red Wings. You want me to grab more, you guys? I could do this shit all fucking day. Look at 
all these fucking cards. So all these cards, I guess, aren't real, right? Okay. <laughs> Why? Because you fucking people say so? You know how stupid that sounds? Here, guys, let's do this. And then you know what I'll do? I'll come live and I'll do a fucking study on all my shit. And I'll show you motherfuckers some heavy shit. Here is 17.25 carats of light blue sapphires. Here is 23.7 carats of dark sapphires. You know what that means? Nothing. It means absolutely jack shit. Here's a box, right? Okay, let's see what's in these guys. Hundreds. Look, autographs. There. Hundreds. Hundreds. Hundreds of them. There's are old ball players. Billy, uh, Billy Huff, Ted Gray. These are early '50s Tigers, right? Warren Spahn, one of the best lefties ever. Crash Davis. Played for the Philadelphia A's in 1940 to 42. Bernie Schneider, Philadelphia A's, 1935. Jesus Christ. You want me to keep going? Fucking people. You know, I see what it is, you guys. I see what it is. You just can't accept the fact. And it is what it is. And you know what it means? Nothing. You motherfuckers could sit there and say shit. So I guess what we'll do, guys, is we're going to... Here, here's... Look, here's more. What's this? Autographs. Autographs. Autograph. Rookies. Rookies. These are all rookies. Rookies. Here's some 72s, 74s, 71s, 68s. Cal Ripken. Dave Collins. Nate Thoroughgood. This is old, bas old basketball. Finals. Celtics and Knicks. 1973. I mean, it keep fucking going. You see how stupid this is, you guys? This is stupid. But you guys got to talk about me and talk about um, what I have, don't have. Oh, can't be this. Oh, it can't be that. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. <sighs> what the fuck? But that's okay. Because I know. But I'm going to leave you guys with this. I know this. Motherfuckers that go looking for trouble, find it. And I also know this. At 52, I'm 11 years, I was 11 years above what the national average to pay your house off is. And I am damn proud. Don't give a fuck. If you guys are proud or not, I got my new passport. We're going to be traveling here... Uh, Pretty soon, we're going to do another world um, trip. We're going to go to Romania and a whole bunch of places. Guys, I don't even care. I'm not showing you guys no more shit. There's bags of stuff. Bags of jewelry, just bags of stuff. You know what it means in reality? Nothing. It means that we are providing for our family. And we're living. You people don't have to. You don't have to acknowledge me, turn on, listen, respond, nothing. So I don't give a fuck. The shit with fat fuck is personal. That's where it is. That's where it stays. I don't give a fuck. If you fucking people don't like it, I don't give, I don't care. Keep talking. Why are you guys even talking? Why? Because somebody might own stuff. Who gives a fuck? Wow, great. If somebody was a millionaire, you know what? Good for them. See, people, what you motherfuckers should do, mind your own goddamn business. Who gives a fuck what pe other people have? Who cares? I just happen to have a lot of stuff. I got stuff, autographs and letters and toys and jackets. and Dude, there's a box over there completely full of Hollywood uh, programs and Hollywood uh, contracts. I got... Up here, I got um, Heisman Trophy winner, autographed posters. 
I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 17, 20 pairs. Does it matter? No, I got Deadpool shit. I got team sign balls. There's a, a bad boys championship autograph uh, Pistons basketball. Guys, you know what all this shit means? Nothing. It's stuff that I provide. This is how I paid the house off. Contrary to you, salty, stupid motherfuckers. Oh, he had to go fund me. <laughs> yeah. So I paid $106,000 off with a $15,000 GoFundMe. Right. So you little, you little fucking lab rats run with bullshit. But I'm just going to say this. And this ain't directed to anybody. It's just directed to whoever. If you go looking for trouble, you're going to find it. And if that's the kind of shit that you people want, then you know what? You motherfuckers have at it. You do what you got to do. Who, who, like, again, man, who, who gives a fuck? Does, does it really matter what people own? You know, I'm so glad that I didn't grow up that way where I'm so worried about strangers online and what they own or don't own. Like, seriously. You know what that says about people when you worry about everybody else's shit? But guys, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll take a day and I'll just pop live and I'll show you. I got autographed full-size helmets and I'm going to show you guys some really rare autograph stuff. Samuel Goldwyn, that owned, that owned MGM. You know, the turn of the century died in the late 60s, early 70s. I have hundreds of letters from him, contracts, all certified JSA. I got PSA certified cards. Um, I, I got a box of them. But you guys see my point day in and day out. It's always Rick. You guys keep me in the loop, man. And you guys are the ones that keep me. You guys keep my name in your mouth. And you can't stop. If you fucking people want to listen to a fat piece of shit in Staten Island, that has nothing. How about Armani? I got some Armani watches. I can see them. You guys want to buy them? Shell out some cash. Buy some shit. There's two. I see two Armani exchange watches right there. There's graded cards. There's a ton of cards. There's autographs and contracts. There's a pair of Ferragamo boots. You guys are stupid. Because in the realm of me and this internet, what I do is nobody's fucking business. Guys, it is what it is. You guys can keep making me relevant. I appreciate it. It's really stupid, you guys. And like I said, I'm not directing this towards anybody. If you guys want trouble, that's cool too. I don't care. Guys, we got to be at my buddy's in a little bit. We're going to have a barbecue, hanging out. I'm going to show him some pictures. He wanted to see a couple players, a couple shit talkers. I'm going to show him pictures. And if you guys want to continue, if anybody wants to fuck with me, I got something for you. See, I'm just gearing up. See, here's the difference. And I'm going to lay it out on the line. You guys do this online, and you talk to fat piece of shit. Oh, <laughs> short neck, <laughs> whatever, and you guys laugh, right? I actually talk to fucking people, and I show them pictures, and I show them addresses, and I show them places, and then just, and there's reason. And if that's what any of you people want to do, but it's kind of funny. We've been doing this since the Aaron Carter cell phone which has been about five, six years, not one of you motherfuckers have been here. And you guys know why. You can you can lie. You can say, oh, the police. Man, fuck the cops. Ain't no cops coming if you come here. No. No, ain't no cops coming. Why? So a cop can fucking arrest you? Fuck that. You come here, you're getting your fucking head fucked. That's how it needs to be. Because then next time, you're not going to do nothing. But that's all right, guys, because, listen, you guys just do what you want. 
Seriously, you do whatever you think you need to do. Because I take care of my fucking shit. When I talk to people that I know and I show people shit, I find out things. If you people don't think that I know people, fucking connected people that know shit, okay. You convince yourself that I don't. You listen to people in people's chat saying, oh, Rick and this and that, and he don't know. That's what I want you to think. I want some of you people to think I'm a bum, a ski vacha, whatever. I don't have no money. I don't know people. That's what I want because that's the whole allure, the facade of this. Because when it shuts off, shit gets real. And if that's what any of you, and I mean any of you people want to do, hey, man, you motherfuckers are free. Do what you want. Guys, have a safe day today. Have a good weekend. Well, the weekend is over, but have a good day, guys. Be safe if you're out. We're just, like I said, I'm going to talk to some people. Having a couple beers, um, you know, it's the whole traditional Sue sits with the wives, the men do the talking. And like I said, I got pictures, I got faces to show, I got a couple houses to show people, just in case, you know what I'm saying? I'm always, always one up, motherfuckers, you guys remember that.